Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Bonky Kook here, aka the Lonely Achievement God, and today we are continuing our Wilmot's Warehouse playthrough. It is part five and year five of our expert mode uh, method explanation, as well as discussing the re-rolling of deliveries throughout the, the playthrough. Uh, so we're into year five. Uh, this is going to be the final year I'm going to show you guys um, the method where specifically you are trying to get as many groupings as possible. Uh, in part six and year six, I will be showing you uh, how to use the uh, um, the sorting, well, the expert method to focus on just a single grouping. Uh, I don't know if it'll work all that well. It depends on well, to be fair, if we got finches or bananas, then it, it might work out pretty well to explain it. But uh, for now, I'm showing you how to get through the game using, if you are starting a from scratch account, going from zero to a thousand. Uh, I believe I mentioned this in every playthrough. There is a... You cannot get all the 1,000 using this playthrough, only 950, because you will never unlock enough stars to purchase the dungarees. I will put a link in the either in the description or in the video here to my dungarees speedrun, which will show you how to get this dungarees and as quickly as possible, about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on uh, you know how familiar you are with the game. So... Uh, we're just going to continue along here. We have nothing to do on the stock take, so we will continue sorting. And I did that thing again where I'm not... I'm still in my preview mode, so I'm going to switch inputs. I just ruined everything. I'm making up for it by ruining other things instead. Excuse me. I've been doing a lot of recordings and my voice is starting to, uh... to go away. But I wanted to get this all recorded so I can... hopefully going to... I know this is... This doesn't make sense to any of you, because if you're watching this, the website is already launched, but... I'm hoping to get my website launched... within the next week or two, although... Uh, I'm one of those weird breeds that I'm a huge gamer and I love sports and March Madness is this weekend so I'm going to be uh, I'm allowing myself to relax and watch some March Madness uh, oh, we got a music grouping item and that is it We'll go grab that, unfortunately. As I said in the last playthrough, we're starting to run out of... You don't really want to be getting new groupings of items at this point, because you're, you're running out of deliveries... ...to, to fill out the groups. So you'd much rather keep getting items from groups you already have, rather than get new ones. I'm not saying it's impossible to get- I have seen deliveries where I've gotten, uh, at least two items that belong to the same grouping. I think there was once there may have been three, but obviously you don't want to rely on that happening.
see what we got. Another hat. We got a finch. This is not a drill. Okay. So everything is being put to the side now. Because we got a finch. So we're going to re-roll deliveries until a second finch shows up. I am going to demonstrate to you how to do that. Oh, we also got uh, 148 items, so that would be an achievement. So we will run down and find our finch. Move our finch up to the top here. And then we are going to skip ahead and sort the delivery. So, if you followed my method already, what we're going to do is run the clock all the way down. Uh, once the phase ends and the shutter closes, we pause the game, and then we are going to uh, just resume the game because that, that saves the game there, right before the manifest shows up. Although, actually, uh, we might be heading into a stock take, so it might not do us any good. So we might have to do this after, but we'll double check just to be sure. So of course we were on a roll. Here I am talking about how my voice is struggling and I'm not going to talk a lot. And then the thing happens that I need to explain. So I apologize. I'm going to get a drink of water here. So here's what we got. Yeah, we got a stock take, so. So we're going to ignore everything and sort this as well. And then the next, uh, after the next service phase, we will re-roll re our deliveries. I will say I had a lot of misconceptions about uh, the item groupings. Of course, I don't know how the game was designed, so I, I just had theories that I was going with. I found uh, a couple of them have been misproven. Um, I did get bananas and finches, I believe, in the same playthrough, so that is possible. Uh, there was also a different color, or a different blue uh, as you can see, the finches are a light blue background. There is also seagulls that pop up on a light blue background. For a while, I assumed you couldn't get the seagulls and the finches in the same playthrough, and I'm no longer convinced of that either. Uh, so all my hypotheses got shot down. But that's, that's part of learning. So, pause the game here. Manifest comes in. We did not get a finch, so we are going to use the guide button, select Wilmot's Warehouse using the start button, and quit out, and reload. This will bring us back in. It takes about 30 seconds uh, per uh, re-roll, re reload, whatever you want to call it. Then when you come back in, just go to your save file. Spam A through. And we will continue to do this until a second finch shows up. Just so you kind of have an idea of what you're going to be doing. Um, a finch or a banana are the two you want to drop everything to try to get. Even if you are playing in normal mode, and doing your Zen playthrough, I highly recommend re-rolling your deliveries. Um, I know I repeated this information a lot, but for anyone new, when I first started playing this game, I played it completely legitimately up to like the 50 hour mark, and I still didn't get my finches. So, uh... 
And there we go. We got our second finch already. Perfect. That's a perfect object lesson. I will warn you, it shouldn't be that simple. And as I have said, I'm not going to re-roll to get all four of them. I just wanted to show you how how well that works. Uh, we re-rolled four times and we got a second finch because the game... Uh, and, you know, we're 140 items in, I think it was, and we hadn't seen a single one. And once we started re-rolling the deliveries after getting one, we already got a second one. Um, so this is, the, I mean, I couldn't have asked for, like, a more perfect demonstration of re-rolling. Like, that was perfect. So we're just going to continue on. We got the second finch. I, as I said, I'm not going to worry about the finches anymore. I just wanted to show off the uh, re-rolling technique work. Because we could be sitting here for a while if I show you how to do it over and over again, and it's repetitive. Um, it may it may not happen right away for you. You may be stuck doing it a lot longer than me. We may be here for an hour. In all honesty. The more I think about it, the more it might not be a bad idea to get all four finches. So, we're going to attempt it. Uh, I know I am not the only person that had problems with the finches. I saw a couple of people complaining to the devs that finches didn't show up. So, I am going to attempt to use the reroll method to finish off the finches. I have already done a, 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 a decent job, I think, explaining the mechanics of the expert mode and going through it uh, to this point. So we're going to take the time here and we're going to try to get those other two finches using the re-rolling method. Proof of concept is really exciting when you discover something and it works for you. So I'm going to ruin the good luck I just had and try to get the other two. Save the game. And you will notice when we do this, some of the items have repeated multiple times already. I did cover this when we initially talked about re-rolling. Um, the game doesn't appear to always grab from a 500 item pool. You know, it doesn't appear to, that it's always grabbing from every item that's available. Palm tree, that gold gem, whatever that is, those have all repeated now. So it seems like there is a, like, primary grouping that has a better shot of showing up for whatever point you're at. I don't know how the game would decide that. I'm not, um, I'm very much not computer savvy as far as programming goes, so... Magnet. So this was kind of my fear that I'm going to start being like, yeah, my, my methods are the best. Here, look at them. And we're going to sit here for two hours and not get the other finch now. Other finches. But I will promise you, this is significantly better. Finch. There's the third one. So let's go grab our finch. Put them with the other ones. And we'll move on and sort our delivery.
we will uh, re-roll the next delivery we get until we get the final finch. And hope that it won't take us an hour to get that one. As I will say, this these re-rolls have gone significantly better than you should probably expect them to. Uh, I mean, obviously proof of concept, you can see that it can work almost immediately for you. Um, but you might, if it doesn't work in the first five re-rolls, don't, you know, sit there and say that stupid achievement god, he doesn't know what he's talking about. And you're, you're not wrong in some cases, but, uh... There were multiple instances where I decided to move on to the next delivery to get, uh... To move on to the next delivery, because I had re-rolled so many times, it felt like I would just... You know, it gave me that feeling that I was actually moving on and doing something, even though it's a, a false feeling, you know? Moving on to the next delivery probably doesn't change anything. It just makes you feel like you're you're changing things up. But yeah, I I've re-rolled fifteen to twenty times and not gotten the item I needed. So you know the the fact that we've gotten the first two finches within I think like four and six re-rolls or four and five like that's pretty insane. In all honesty, oh I didn't save, did I? Well, we'll just continue on. It's not a big deal. I apologize for that. Sort everything. I don't believe we got anything in that is uh, necessary for an achievement grouping, but I will run down and look. Uh, at this point, uh, achievement groupings... Uh, I'm... I'm still debating whether I should use the last year to explain the other method or just do another video on its own. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah, there's nothing there for a grouping. Okay. I will say I can't guarantee this will be that this quick on say uh, a Series S or a one an Xbox One. I uh, I only have the Series X to test it on currently, so uh, loading times might be a little bit longer for you. UFO and the shark would be useful for a grouping, but we did not get a finch, so we re-roll again. And this really does uh, exemplify the proof of concept for, um, you know, the idea that the items being delivered aren't being pulled from a 500 pool item pool. Because there is no way, if you're pulling from 500 items, you're going to repeat the same item in three straight deliveries, you know? Yeah, I think that's up to four now. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, we've done five whole rerolls without a finch. This is ridiculous. But as I was saying before we got one of the other ones, um, I spent 50 hours in the normal game and had not gotten all four finches yet. Uh, I was, of course, not using any glitches, glitches just playing the game normally. Um, so I eventually started looking for other methods, and then people were like, well, just use the expert mode. It drops the service phase time, and you just have to sit there and wait for your item to show up. So I, I started trying that, and I still actually never got the finches. It wasn't until I stumbled upon the pause glitch and re-rolling that I was able to get my finches. So it was probably a good 60 hours into the game, and that was, you know, eventually me forcing the game to, to give me the finches. So... Um, I really, I really want people to enjoy this game the way it, it is intended, but I also do not want you to have to sit through the terrible RNG that I did, so that's why I do recommend using the re-rolling, uh, method for the finches and bananas. Because, uh, just to add on to my initial point, when I tested my my methods on a fresh account to get to a thousand when I tested the pause glitch and the uh, re-rolling. And there it is. There's our fourth finch. Uh, when I tested these, uh, I had three bananas in like my fifth playthrough. And s stupidly, I decided, no, I'm not going to try to finish the banana grouping. I will... I'll, I'll just get it later. And... I was another, I went another 20 playthroughs from that point, excuse me, before a single banana ever showed up again for me to even try re-rolling. I never even saw a single banana for another 20 playthroughs. I went another 15 playthroughs after every other achievement was done before I had a single banana show up again. So, if you ever get the finches or the bananas... I, I highly recommend doing what I just showed you how to do. Put everything else aside, re-roll your deliveries until the finches show up. Uh, there is no reason for you to have to deal with the horrible RNG. So, we got our four finches. Proof of concept worked pretty darn well there, I would say. Um, get that last finch out of here. And make sure there aren't any other items. I was too excited by the finch. I don't think there were. Nope, we're good. Okay. So the finch will go up here with his buddies. And that would be... That would be the finch achievement right there. One of the rarest achievements in the game. And I showed you how to get it. Probably the 8th or ninth achievement grouping in our, our run through from scratch here. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Not going to lie. Uh, that was an excellent proof of concept. Oh shoot, I'm in the delivery phase. My bad. So I think what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, is uh, I am going to use my last year to show you the other method. Um, it's not really worth having an entire other playthrough dedicated to showing that off. Uh, it is using the expert mode in the same fashion that we have now. The only difference is uh, 
Um, if you're just looking for, for example, let's say we were just trying to get the bananas now. Um, all you would do is let these deliveries back all the way up, up to the customer service window. You would never touch them. And then, uh, once it backs up there, you don't get any more items delivered into the warehouse. So you just sit here, uh, waiting for the phase to end, and, and then you put, uh, you know, hit the time clock to move along the phases. Uh, you don't do anything. You literally just sit there uh, waiting for the service phase to. And so I think I'll just add that to this video. You, If you've been following me for these five parts, you already have a pretty good idea of what you need to do for this method and, and, and to continue it to the end of the game, you know? We're literally just doing the same thing we've been doing for the uh, for the next year if if you're trying to start from scratch. But I think I should interject with the uh, with the other method just so that you guys um, in the future. Uh, no, if you want to, you can use the expert method to finish off a normal playthrough. Uh, you can use it if you'd prefer to use that instead of using the pause glitch. I mean, there's plenty of options for whatever you choose to do. But we are going to start running out of room. We still have an entire year to get through. Pillars make a difference. Okay, so what did we get? Nothing, nothing. That's a hat. That's a hat. So nothing in those deliveries is important. There is our poster for 168 and another achievement. Service phase and sort these out. We aren't going to actually run out of room because this is going to be the last delivery we sort, probably. I might sort for just a visual lesson of what you will do uh, if you are playing this game from the beginning and trying just to get one or two items. But this is going to be the end of the uh, method, the explanation for the method we've been following. Um, after December here, I will start explaining the other method, so the following, the this next video will also probably be longer than the rest of them. Uh, other than the first one, which I went far too long. But uh, I appreciate you guys uh, spending the time to follow my videos. If you have any comments or questions, you can try to get a hold of me and I'll uh, answer them as best I can. Magnet. It's for hardware, but we already got that achievement, so... So that'll be the end of this, uh, of you, the explanation on how to use expert mode from a scratch account to get to a thousand. You just keep doing this, uh, until you get all of the groupings you would need. Um, obviously, as I've said before, you can't get the dungarees using this, but I have a speed run on my, uh, YouTube account and on my website that gets you the dungarees in about an hour, maybe to an hour and a half, depending on how fast you are, and then you will be able to get your 1,000 gamer score. So, uh, the next video will 
cover a different method of using expert mode only for your final achievement or two. So, I appreciate you guys spending your time with me, and I will see you in the final part, part six.